morning, family. Good afternoon. Good evening to you. Welcome. Welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Minister of Soul, Khadija. Let me say this, and I want to keep a pulse on the young people right now. And the reason why I'm saying that is because of you can't win. You can't get up. You can't get out of the game. It's only a certain way that we can get out of this. And we talk about it on this channel more than one way. But the main way is to be still and know. I'm telling y'all, we already know what that verdict is going to be. I even think um, I listened to uh, the Grand Master tonight. Grand Master Jay say something to the effect of um, they're thinking about a leaked email saying that they're thinking about taking it down to the lower court. And, um, you know, just taking a dude's license and blah, 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 blah. Giving the family $12, not $12 million, $12, whatever. I don't care one way or the other. Um, because we can't win this way. I need for y'all to really understand what we're dealing with when we start talking about narcissistic behavior. Y'all think I'll just be out here talking? Narcissistic behavior. And people throw the word around so fucking loosely, excuse my language, that it's hard. You just say, oh, uh, she's a narcissist because it's such on a continuum, right? Like you got a bar. I talk about you got the zero in the middle and you got blah, 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 blah. But the whole thing is narcissism. So you could be narcissistic to the good. And then with some of your musicians and, you know, you got to be somewhat narcissistic to be tunnel minded like that. Okay. I fall into that category so I can recognize the shit. Okay. Most of the musicians um, that you work with or that actors, they're single-driven. They're minded. They can't. Now, that's like a, a narcissistic behavior, a trait. It's not a being because most artists, the ones I know, are very sensitive. They can almost hear an ant crawl across the desk. And they're impasse. And they're sensitive to a baby in Bosnia being blowed up just like they're in pain when a baby blows up in the heart of the ghetto. When it's a situation that you know is unjust and you are watching it play out as an impact, as a, you can be a person with a narcissistic trait be a musician, be an actor or whatever, because it, it just, the narcissism is just the tad of it that you need to stay, stay driven and to protect yourself and to say, stay single focus, in my opinion. Okay? I'm not a doctor. That's what I'm just thinking. Now, then you got people like Donald Trump, who's a for real narcissistic person who is a for real product of a, a person that can't feel. See, that's not a trait. It is what it is. He he embodies it. Okay? He is that. Because this system, go back and look. I've said it time and time and time. This system is narcissistic. Every little entity that you go through is a flying monkey. Whether it's the courthouse, well, no matter what their institutions are, no matter what, they're flying monkeys for a system that's built on narcissism, that gaslights you, that pisses all over you in your face and everything and tell you it's raining and you're supposed to believe it. And as a, a black person who has pretty much no rights in this country um, in terms of the dominant society. 
when you look at the narcissistic system and you watch your white counterpart shoot up a whole church and get bit off with Burger King, and then you see your nephew being shot down on the street and either a weapon planted in his hands to act like he lunged at the police or shot for no reason and saying, oh, I made a mistake. I thought he had a weapon or I feared for my life. You know, contrasts are very different, but the narcissistic behavior is the same. And the flying monkeys, which are the people that grow out of this system, the people that watch this, the, the other white folk that, 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 that have been indoctrinated, they're not free thinkers like a John Brown or a Viola Luso or somebody like that. Those type of people, they keep the engine going. Okay. When they elite, the elite that start this stuff was crazy. So they built a system on craziness. The projection is insanity. The gaslighting is insane. You read the newspaper and you was out there and you saw the event. But when you read the newspaper, according to what the event was, it's totally different. How can two of us see the same thing? And then explain it so differently. We're not operating. We are, we are operating off a different stimulus. We are. We are. I'm telling the truth. And you telling a bold faced lie. It ain't no different side to no damn story. You a liar. And what you're trying to do is convince me to believe your lies. And I'm saying this to say. Y'all probably say, where you going with that damn mom today? I'm saying that to say, this Brianna Taylor verdict, the, you already know what's going to happen. So I just want you to do something different. You can't do the same thing that we've been doing right now because it's too powerful. It's too many emotions. These people that went in the girl's house and killed her for no goddamn reason and then tried to change it. Charge the boyfriend, all types of corrupt corruptness. Then try to get one uh, brother to say that uh, um, I'll give you a less sentence if you make up a lie on her. Okay, come on. They try. They reached their hands down in the rabbit hole and pulled out nothing. Okay, because nobody black is cooperating with you no more. Those days are over when you used to get us to sing on ourselves like this. This for the majority of us. Those that because we're moving to another level. We're not going to go into this level with just the marching. And mere belief counts for nothing unless it's carried into practice. That's what the Quran teaches you. Okay? Nothing unless it's carried into practice. So you can take it any way you want to. But we have to be the, stop being the only one shedding tears. And I mean that. People got sons, they got daughters, they got mothers, they got sisters. What we're not going to do is keep giving the impression that we are so gullible and that we love this mistreatment. Because all the stories I've read from the 400 years plus that we've been here, there's been insurgents, there's been uh, 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 insurrections, there's been uh, rages, there's been riots, there's been uh, 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 ways to show you that we don't like what you're doing to us. Okay, so now you use the court systems and you play everybody all this time to tell us that the officers did no wrong. A narcissist can never, ever, ever take responsibility. So none of these systems, none of these police departments, none of will ever say we made a mistake. None of the sheriff department. If you find a sheriff department or a police department that apologizes and said we sorry and mean it, I ain't talking about no bullshit and they turn around and do it again next week. Then you know we're on the right path. And we're starting to destroy the narcissist. Because right now, we have to destroy that narcissistic mindset that's all over this this inequality. OK, the madness that I can do whatever I want to do to black people because they love it. 
They don't have a soul. They're uh, uh, um, they're used to a pain body. They love pain. They don't fight back. They don't. Where did that come from? You see white people walking up to people in the parks, spitting on them. It's that, you know, all kinds of crazy stuff that even when we didn't like each other, we didn't have this kind of arrogant behavior. And when have we done that to you? When have we just walked up to you as much as you've done to us? As much indignity as you perpetrated against us, have we walked up to you and just slapped you across the face, you know, for the in, uh, atrocities that you've done to our ancestors and us too? It ain't, it, you know, that don't skew that as a sign of weakness. You should look at that as a sign of, okay, you know, we got enough system that we got to get to the next level, whatever it may be. Because this right here ain't going to work. And we ain't going to keep on taking this. I want y'all to be aware that whenever the Breonna Taylor verdict come out, the officer is going to be acquitted. Ain't going to be no charges. They're pulling, they, they pulling it. They're pulling it. Just like they pulled it with the COVID. Whatever it is. They pulled it. Checkmate. Now, you can't handle that like a bunch of wild geeches. Can't do it. You got to get in control and behind them emotions. Some other ways, you know. And so, for those of y'all that don't know, study Winnie Mandela. Study Shaka. Study. I mean, because we still use the blueprint right now. What well, Shaka taught uh, taught you how to fight, right? So it's in you. You just got to fight a different way. And it's not always singing and praying and that type of shit that I did. Well, I did enough for that. I don't wore too many pairs of shoes for that shit. And I don't mean to be disrespectful, but it is what it is. And I want y'all to stay safe, stay prayerful, and realize that the verdict that you're probably going to hear that comes down any time now is not going to be anything that we're going to find any delight or any favor in. That's why they're doing this stuff. Your job is to get in front of it and give them a response that they ain't never seen before. You know how when you come in the house and you smell something cooking? Ooh, that smell good? What you cooking? Ooh, it smell good too. Ooh, and the closer you get to the pot, ooh, yeah. Mm -hmm. We gotta keep it up because they're gonna smell us. They're gonna smell us. With that being said, you know, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you in the next video.